uh, fellow candidates, fellow Islanders, members of the media. Um, it's, a, it's a real pleasure to be back here in Kensington today. And I uh, just want to take a, a second to say a, a special thank you to your mayor, Rowan Casely, who made a donation yesterday towards my polar plunge that I'll be doing this weekend to raise money for Special Olympics. I'm hoping the weather warms up a little bit. I'm also pleased to be here today with Matthew and my fellow candidates behind me for today's announcement. Responsible fiscal management should be, a centra should be central to everything that government does. Islanders want to have confidence that their tax dollars are being used responsibly. Islanders are understandably frustrated when they see their tax dollars being squandered on dubious ventures. One particularly dubious venture comes to mind today as Islanders learn more details about a multi-million dollar lawsuit over the e-gaming scandal. Islanders are growing more and more concerned as they see the government's debt spiral out of control. Our provincial debt now stands at over $3.3 billion. That billion with a B, ladies and gentlemen. The present government's financial record is disastrous. Eight straight budget deficits. More than a billion dollars has been added to the debt, doubling the net debt of this province. That dubious record cannot continue. Right now, we're spending over $128 million a year to service the debt. That's just to pay the interest. That means that before a single service is provided to Islanders, the government must spend $128 million off the top of its budget to service the debt. That's $128 million that cannot be used to support our seniors, improve health care, or raise the bar in our classrooms. We must put our fiscal house in order. I don't want my grandchildren's grandchildren drowning in a sea of red ink because we failed to act. That's why today I'm proposing a series of steps to begin to address the pressing issue. I'm under no illusions that, will be, that this will be an easy task. I know it will not. But we must begin this work. We can find significant cost savings in the existing budget framework by being better managers, taking greater responsibility for taxpayers' dollars. The steps I'm proposing are both symbolic and substantive. First, the substantive steps. We will balance the budget within the first two years of taking office. Our strategy will have two key elements. First, within the Within the first 180 days of taking office, our government will conduct a value for money audit on all provincial government crown corporations and agencies. Undertaking this review will help identify areas where we can rebalance expenditures to better address public needs. Also within the first 180 days, our government will engage frontline public servants for their input on how we can improve service delivery and maximize efficiencies. Too often the experience and wisdom of frontline workers is ignored when government tries to find savings. I think that's a mistake. The people who deliver public services on a daily basis have a great insight into ways that we can do things better. I want to make something perfectly clear about both of these measures. These reviews are not about cutting jobs and slashing important services. They're about doing a better job of delivering programs and services more cost effectively. We will also lead by example. Our new government will make several changes to how the executive branch of go the government operates. We'll bring MLA severance rules in line with the public sector. No more paying people who quit. We will reform the MLA pension plan to provide better value for taxpayers. We will reduce the size of the executive branch of government. We will reduce political staffing levels in the Premier's office 
and Executive Council. We will end the practice of providing the Premier and Cabinet Ministers with a taxpayer-funded vehicle and a credit card. No more MLA pay increases until the budget is balanced first. Now, some will criticize some of these measures as symbolic, but symbolism matters. We need to send a clear message that doing things the same old way just isn't going to cut it anymore. We must live within our means, just as every household in Prince Edward Island must do. We will set priorities in a fair and balanced way, respect, respectful of Islanders and their hard-earned money. We will move in a new direction, towards balanced budgets and not bankruptcy. Thank you very much. Now, there's one more thing. I talked about symbolism. It's time to start acting responsibly. It's time to make priorities about how we spend Islanders' money. It's time to tear up the Giz McLaughlin credit card and force some good old adult supervision on the Liberals. This government is addicted to spending. It's not responsible with your money. So it's time to tear up the credit card and live within our means. It's time for a new direction, folks. That will start with a new PC government. Here goes the credit card, folks. Thanks for coming out today and having a little fun with us.